Good day and welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to draw an arc of giving radius to touch a given arc internally. So I'll be showing you how to draw arc to touch two cycle internally. So we'll start by drawing the cycle, but before then, let's draw a horizontal line. So next, I will draw the first cycle on the horizontal line. So if the distance between the two cycles is given, you are to mark that the distance of the center of the cycle is given. You are to mark the point of the second cycle that is measuring from the first cycle. So after that, you have to place your compass on the point you mark. Then you have to produce the second cycle. So remember, the distance of the two and the radius of the two cycles might be given to you in the question. So you have to take note. And also, you can label the center of the two cycle. So I'll label here S. Then I'll label here V. So next is to draw vertical line passing through the center of the two cycles. So now it is time to draw the axe to touch the cycles internally. So first, let's start with this side, that is this side of this cycle. You subtract the radius of the arc. No, you subtract the radius of this cycle from the radius of the arc you want to draw. So after subtracting the value you obtain, you have to adjust your compass to the value you obtain. Then you have to place your compass on the center of this cycle here. Then cut arc this way. So the reason why we are cutting two arc is because we want to produce an arc to touch the cycles this way, that is internally, and also another one here to touch internally. So next, let's focus on this side now. So as usual, you are to subtract the radius of this cycle here from the radius of the arc you want to produce. So when you obtain the value, you adjust your compass to that value and cut arc. So after obtaining your value, you have to place your compass at the center here. Then cut another arc. So remember that the axe must intersect at the top and at the bottom. You can label the points where the axe intersects. Now, in order to obtain the, the point of tangency, that is the point where the axe, the point where the internal arc will touch the cycle. So you have to draw lines this way. That's why we are drawing line from the center of this cycle to the point where the axe intersects. No, we are drawing the line from the circumference here, passing through the center here, then to the point where the axe intersects. And also, I will do the same for the top. Point. Mm -hmm. 
So I will label those points T, that is the point of tangents. Like this point here, T. Now to produce the arc, I will place my compass on the point of intersection of this arc. Then I will adjust the compass in such a way that the pencil is on this point. Then I will cut the arc. So I will repeat the same procedure for the lower, that is the lower point of intersection. So you observe that the arc starts from point T here and end in point T here. So it starts from point T here and end at point T here. So that is it. So we are done with the arc. So all that is left now is to dimension or label the drawing. So we are done with the drawing. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.